Excessive squatting is a very common problem that affects approximately 3% of the Canadian population. Uh, this is a problem which is also known as hyperhidrosis and it is a problem that causes a fair degree of emotional and physical distress for people that suffer from it. And one of the great advantages or one of the great new treatments for the management of this problem is injections of Botox. Uh, Botox has been around for at least uh, 20 to 30 years now. It first came on the market in 1989 for the treatment of people that have twitchy eyelids and then subsequently found its use both in the cosmetic arena as well as in a number of other conditions. And one of the common problems that we use it for as dermatologists is in the treatment of excessive sweating. Uh, Botox itself comes in a small bottle. Uh, it is a white powder that is on the bottom of the bottle. We then reconstitute this with some normal saline. We draw it up into syringes and then we inject the underarm regions. Typically within two to three days the individual stops sweating and for many of these individuals it can be quite dramatic. For most it is like turning off a tap of water where they used to sweat excessively, where they would have to change their clothing frequently, where they would always wear dark clothing, they would never wear white, where they would use wear sweaters in order to hide the effects of the sweating. Now with this procedure uh, they will have periods of non-sweating for at least six to eight months before they return to have to have further injections. Before we do the injections we use a cream called Maxilene which is essentially a 5% lidocaine cream uh, and we put this underneath the arms so we put it in the arm in the armpit regions and by putting in this area, this will give us topical anesthetic. Typically, it takes 20 to 30 minutes for it to have its full effectiveness. And this takes some of the sting out of the injections of doing the Botox. Once the preparation has had a chance to work and the area is, no, and the area is well frozen, then we inject with a, very, with a small series of little injections along the area where there is sweating. And as they say, in indivi most individuals, typically within a period of two or three days, and some individuals as fast as two or three hours, they will stop sweating in those areas. And typically they will have results lasting six to seven months. Some individuals will come back within that time period. Other individuals, the effects may last over a year. But this is certainly one of the most effective treatments for this very debilitating and very, uh, very much of a nuisance problem.